Welcome to this special 4th of July edition of Harness Your Hump Day. Uh, obviously tomorrow is 4th of July. It's It always throws a wrench in everything when it starts in the middle of the week like a, a Thursday. Uh, and then you have that odd, awkward Friday that you don't know what to do with. Um, so there's, there's a lot going on. Uh, but I kind of want to start out by uh, telling everybody that, uh, you know, this 4th of July, along with Veterans Day, Flag Day, there's a lot that goes along with this, this, this period of days. And there's a lot of things that um, I guess I just want to share today what, what's important to me as a business owner. Um, and then I'll jump into the, the Facebook ver uh, verification update. So my journey when I went into the military in 1992 and I got out in 1996, I gained a lot of valuable experience. Uh, and it's so weird when you're young or you're going through a, through a certain period of your life, you don't realize previous jobs or the experiences that you were given can kind of build you up to a, to a specific point and to a specific uh, objective and or goal. And for me, I had no idea that I would be where I am today. However, that being said, one of the things that helped me do that was being in, in the military, learning discipline, learning if there is something bigger than yourself, serving your nation. Uh, those are things that are very important and intrinsic in me, and I think they are in a lot of people. I also think that they are great attributes for a business owner. So when I went from uh, from being a veteran, from being in the military, U.S. Army, to going back to college, to getting a degree in education, and then going on to becoming a teacher, then a business owner, all those things sound very obscure, but I got to tell you, they all worked out uh, in, in my, my benefit. Hey, Doug, good morning. Hoorah to you too, bud. Uh, and I'm very proud of my, bud, uh, my buddy, Doug. He is a uh, uh, U.S. Air Force veteran, uh, and still serving his community too. Uh, good morning, Cody. Uh, so when you go out or when you get out of the military, you think that you are going to get a job in the career field that you were, or you are nervous if you were infantry or you were MP, you think that you have to do certain things. I literally just embraced the journey. That's what I did. I embraced the journey uh, and being a veteran, and being a teacher, an educator, helped me to where I am today as not only as a business owner, but a, a civic leader in my community as an alderman in Carterville. So what am I getting at? What's the point? I'm saying that anybody can be a business owner. Um, it depends on what you have intrinsically uh, inside of you, your values. And for me, it was all about the military. It was all about educating and serving. That's the one thing I keep coming back to. Um, I do these mastermind classes with my friend Russ Williams, and most of them are always like, what's that one word that describes you? And I always have a hard time because there's many of the people that I surround myself with, we're doers, we do a lot of things. But I decided that I think my word is catalyst. I think I'm a catalyst for things. And I think a catalyst also incorporates being a doer. So. Veterans, those of you that are out there, this part is for you. I want you to see and believe that you can do more than what you, what you think you can. If you have a business idea, go back to your roots and basic training. Don't give up. Be disciplined. Because guess what? Owning a business is a lot like basic training, just a lot longer than eight weeks. Uh, heck, I don't even know if they're eight weeks anymore. Uh, it is. You're thrown in a combat zone every day. And I wasn't in a combat zone, so I'm relating this from, from military friends. But you're thrown into a combat zone every day, and the only option is solutions. That's it. You only have solutions. So business owners, I think all of them should have uh, some military service in them personally. Uh, I think it puts things in perspective. Plus, it makes you appreciate everything that you have as a business owner. So no matter what is thrown at you, and let's be honest, I'm a business owner most of you are in the state of Illinois. It can be very challenging at times. But you know what? We don't quit. You don't give up. And you surround yourself with good people. You have a good team and you keep moving forward. And I'm very blessed to have almost all of that. I have a great team. I've got a great community and I've got great support. 
and uh, I'm not going to give up. So if you are a veteran and you are thinking about owning a business or running a business, reach out to me. Let me know if I can help you. Uh, the SBDC in Carbondale played a huge part in helping me succeed, grow, maintain, and stay as a business owner. We're coming up on six years, uh, and I'm, I'm so happy that I, I, st I sticked it out and continued to work hard to build this. And we're nowhere where I'd love to be. Uh, my expectations are way up here. But you know what? In the amount of time with the resources that I had available, uh, I think we've done a pretty good job, and I still want to continue to do a good job. So reach out. Let me know. We need more veteran-owned businesses, uh, absolutely. And I would love for you. Here's my little plug. If you are a business and you need a place to go, Carterville, come see me. Come to Carterville. Bring your business to Carterville. Okay. So we had a bomb dropped on us. Another military, military reference to, uh, this week. On Monday... Uh, Facebook, if you guys use the business uh, Facebook portal uh, to manage multiple accounts and clients, you may also have received a notification that on July 7th, and there's different dates, you will no longer be able to post if your pages aren't verified. Well, that threw us into a, a panic a little bit. Uh, they've never forced verification. Well, you might ask, why do some of our clients not have verification? Well, some of the clients have different numbers or they don't have documentation or they don't want to provide documentation to verify their page. You have to have a valid number that also matches uh, your page number. When you put that in for the page verification, obviously they call you, you get a PIN number, you verify the page, bada bing, bada boom. This is Facebook's way of trying to alleviate fake accounts, uh, trying to make sure that we don't have another Russia incident. Uh, and, and making sure that what's online is legitimate. So it is, there's a reason for it. If you do not have a phone number or you don't want to, there are some other documents that you can provide and upload, uh, tel um, telephone bill, internet bill, electric bill, something that has your address uh, and name on it, your legal name to match those up. So uh, we've got some accounts that we're trying to work with on that, but they've never forced this. And a lot of it is because uh, we got notified of this because of uh, managing multiple accounts. Uh, so FYI, if you use business, the business.facebook.com portal, you need to check in, log in, and make sure that you've got your pages verified or you're not over the threshold of how many accounts you manage. Uh, again, it's a safety feature. They're not trying to be a pain in the butt. It's a pain in the butt, but they're not trying to be. They're trying to make the platform as legitimate and safe as possible. So uh, if you have questions about that, uh, please feel free to email, call us, and we will help you with that. All right, events. Why am I dressed up like this today? I usually don't try to mix things up, but this is the 4th of July edition. So I am a member of the American Legion, uh, Carterville American Legion, post 347. I'm also on the Honor Guard. Uh, that's why I joined up to make sure that our veterans, when they pass away, uh, are given their, uh, their rights uh, to a, a veteran uh, burial. Uh, so if you are interested in that, please reach out to your local American Legion. Uh, also, uh, our American Legion, the Heron VFW, and the Heron American Legion will be at the dedication today in Craneville for the uh, Veterans Memorial Overpass. That is going to be dedicated today. Uh, Senator Fowler uh, and State Representative uh, Dave Severin have worked really hard uh, to make sure that that gets dedicated, and I would love to see it wrapped. I'd like to see some stars and stripes, some eagles on it. I would love for it to pop when you go down and you, you go over the overpass. Um, Kate, good morning. Thank you. I'm, I, I have honor guard duty today and uh, thankfully it's not for a funeral. It's actually for a memorial dedication. Uh, so everybody, uh, this is Kate. If you see Kate on here, Kate is uh, part of Business Influencer. I was on a, gosh, I think it was just last week. I, I have a loose track of time. Last week or the week before, uh, I did an interview with uh, their group and they are amazing. They're up in Chicago. My gosh, they have so much fun. Uh, very professional, but they're in digital marketing too, and we learn from each other, and it's just a great opportunity to uh, to collaborate. Uh, and I don't know, Kate, is is that um, is that episode? Is it on YouTube? Is it someone? Can someone go back and rewatch that? If you know, make a comment or post a link. 
Um, and you can also go and join their group uh, if you want to know more about digital marketing tips. Kate does a great job in her uh, in her platform of making sure that it's not silly, uh, silly or preachy or education. There's a lot of fun stuff in there. There's some great questions in there too. Yes. Uh, so she says that they are in the business, uh, the influencer Facebook group. So you can send a request in there. Um, sh it, you will get approved. Uh, hopefully if you're legit, Kate really wants to make sure that we only have legit people in there. So join that. All right. So if you're out today uh, in Carterville, Wednesday, July 3rd, today, Veterans Memorial Overpass Dedication is at 1.30 p.m. Uh, it should be pretty good. Friday, July 12th, woo! We have Pirate and Margarita Night at Rit One Park. Uh, it is Heron Community Night. Uh, my co-chair, Ryan T. Geralds, our executive director, Lindsey Busick, and I will be out there. Uh, tickets are still available at Banterra Bank in Heron. Uh, South, Southern Illinois Bank in Heron and at the lovely Heron Chamber of Commerce. Uh, and anybody that's on the board, they have tickets as well. So if you want to reach out to them, we would love for you to come out for Pirate and Marguerite tonight. Uh, tailgate starts at five. We've got some great food from local vendors. Uh, there'll be free putt-putt golf, all kinds of games for the kids. And then the game starts at seven. Um, Saturday, July 20th. Uh, my wife, nice little family plug there, she hosts the Relay for Life uh, Festival of Hope. Uh, there's no place like hope. That's the theme this year. You will be able to be inside at the pavilion in Marion uh, and honor and remember and reflect on those people that have died with cancer, have had cancer, or are supporting uh, those, our caretakers. So please, if you want more information, uh, click the Facebook link or reach out to uh, my wife, Beth Harness. Southern Illinois Made, Saturday, July 27th and Sunday, July 28th. It starts at 10 a.m. at the Pavilion in Marion as well, at Marion as well. What we have there is everything local, Southern Illinois, has to be made in Southern Illinois. Uh, this was last year's event was huge. They did a great job and they were also, yes, they were also able to raise a lot of money for the Veterans Honor Flight of Southern Illinois, almost to pay, basically to pay for a whole flight. So the proceeds again go to uh, Southern Illinois Veterans Honor Flight. So make sure that you come uh, and support them. It's a great day, lots of cool things. You can Christmas shop uh, early, Christmas shop in July. My buddy, I mentioned earlier, Russ Williams, there is a large leadership conference here in Southern Illinois. Many of us business owners need to make sure that we stay on top of our game and that, that we have other leaders under us and with us. I don't like to say under, but we have them with us. A great leader brings everybody with you. This is, I believe, the third year for the Live to Lead. It is the, at the Pavilion in Marion. It's Friday, October 25th. Sponsorship packets are available. Tickets are available. It's great to bring your team. It's a team building. Uh, if you want more information, you can reach out to Russ Williams or click the uh, event link below. Um, if you would like your event on Harness Your Hump Day, message me, send me your Facebook link. We'll get it up. We'll talk about it. Uh, and I kind of put this at the end, but uh, our today's episode is uh, sponsored by Sotellus. Uh, Sotellus is a review platform. It, it posts on all platforms at the same time. You send that out to your customers and it, it basically says, get the reviews you deserve. It's a one-stop shop. You send them the link, they write the review. Boom, it goes out to all your social media, Yelp, Facebook, all the ones that you need. Google business reviews, perfect. And uh, I'm gonna wrap up. Uh, I've got a special friend, Denise Ewing. She stopped by. Uh, I don't drink a lot of Coke, but I love these. So Coca-Cola has this share a Coke with a hero. There's these different series of Coke cans. Uh, and there's one, I think she told me she found these at Dollar General. Uh, but she did bring me one that I could drink right here. There's a thank you military spouse. Military spouses definitely deserve our thanks. And then we have thank you veteran. And uh, as always, support your local veterans, all your veteran organizations, and everybody have a safe and fun 4th of July.